Hi everyone, my name is Monique. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today, we're going to be playing through a game called Unrest. Yes, this game is designed by Brendan Hansen and published by Pandasaurus Games, who are helping sponsor this playthrough. And in this game, we are going to be taking on the roles of either the evil empire or the rebellion who is trying to liberate the city and the people from the evil empire. Yes, this game takes place in a dystopian society, and it is a two-player only asymmetric card game where one player plays as the evil empire who is trying to maintain control over the city districts by managing four different types of actions, while the other player plays as the rebellion who is trying to liberate these city districts by playing cards from their hand and completing missions. Now this is a very quick game. It plays in about 10 to 20 minutes, so we are going to start with a very quick teach of the game and then go straight into a two-player playthrough. If you'd like to jump around, we'll include timestamps in the description below. But before we begin, if you can all do us a big favor and turn on your Klingon subtitles, just in case you make any mistakes, we can add those corrections there. Lastly, if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more in the future, please consider subscribing. And with that, we are ready to begin. So if you please direct your attention to the center of the table, we're all set up here for our two-player game of Unrest. Welcome to the Empire. Uh, yes, we have five different districts that make up the Empire. That's and right. I'm going to try to take over three of them. <laughs> and these districts are the Ministry of Plenty, the Ministry of Peace, the Capital, mm -hmm. the Police Headquarters, and the Ministry of Truth. And these districts are not asymmetric in any way. The object of the game is simply for the rebellion to either liberate three of them, or for me as the Empire to maintain control over three of these districts. Now the way that the game works is as the Rebellion player, Naveen will have to manage a deck of cards. His deck is comprised of four different suits, and each suit is numbered two through six, with each number being unique. And by the way, thematically, each suit represents something different that the Rebellion is doing such as disruption, we have upheaval, supplies, and blue for intel. In addition, the Rebellion has four of these misdirection cards. And so, each game, you play with a different combination of four mission cards, although the Revolution card is always in play, and they tell you the parameters that the Rebellion needs to meet in one district in order to liberate it. And they're typically going to be stuff having to do with suit or value of the cards that are placed in one district. For example, in our game, we have the Energized Press, which says the total intel value is more than the total upheaval value, and the upheaval value is three or more. Which basically means in one district, Naveen wants to have a total sum of at least four for the blue suit that is greater than the orange suit. And the orange suit has to have a total minimum sum of three. And so the way that the game works is at the start of each round, the Rebellion player will always have five cards in their hand, and they always go first. The first thing that happens is the Rebellion player will take the Area of Interest token and place it in between two city districts that are adjacent to each other. This token basically indicates which two districts the Rebellion player will potentially be playing cards to that round. They will then play three cards from their hand, two cards face down and one card face up. Then, once they've played their three cards, it is the Empire's turn to go. Over the course of the game, the Empire player will be managing these four tokens, which correspond to the four different types of actions that they'll be able to take. But each round, as the Empire player, I'll only be able to take two of these actions. Now each time I take an action, I'm going to flip over the corresponding token to show that it's been used. And once I've taken both of my actions, then the round will end. And in the next round, I'll be required to take the other two actions that I didn't take. And so as you can see, my four action tokens only reset every other round, essentially once I've taken all four. And just to briefly go over them, the first one is the blockade action. And this essentially allows me to choose one of the two districts uh, that are next to the area of interest and block it off so that the rebellion player can only play to the other district. So this might be something important for the Empire. If they see that I'm in a scoring position, they mm -hmm. want me to block off that location. Right. And this is because something that I didn't mention is once I'm done taking my two actions, the Rebellion player is going to be able to divvy up these cards between the two districts that they chose. And so that is how they sort of get closer to completing these different objectives. Mm -hmm. Next, we have the Surveil action. And this essentially allows me to flip over a face down card. Now, something that's really important to remember is that face down cards will remain face down throughout the entire game unless they get revealed somehow. This is going to be very important for the Empire player because there's a bit of card counting that's involved as well as some of the missions. For example, we have the political surge here which requires the Rebellion player to have three revealed cards of any one suit in a district. 
And so with that mission in play, they're going to want to either play cards face up to complete that mission or sort of lure me to reveal their cards. Mm -hmm. Next, we have the destroy action. And so this action lets me choose one of the cards and take it out of the game forever. Now, when destroying a card, you still have to maintain the direction that the card is in. Mm -hmm. So just because I'm destroying a face down card doesn't mean it gets to be revealed unless the face down card is one of the four misdirection cards in the game. These cards are going to be important for the Rebellion player in the sense that you're basically using this to try to trick the, the Empire player. Yeah, you're trying to make them waste kind of their valuable actions on either revealing misdirection mm -hmm. or trying to destroy a misdirection card. Right. And as a Rebellion player, you always have to play this face down. But if ever the card gets destroyed, then this gets revealed. And these misdirection cards are never used towards completing our missions. Right. And lastly, we have the reroute action. And this lets me just take one of the three cards and place it in any other district of my choice. Mm -hmm. Again, still maintaining the direction that it's facing. Now, again, once I've taken my two actions, then the Rebellion player will divvy up the cards that are left over between the two available districts uh, that are next to the area of interest token. Then, before ending the round, you always check to see if any of the missions have been completed in any of the districts. And if so, then you would flip over as many cards as necessary in that one district to prove that. And we'll be showcasing this as we play the playthrough, but essentially any liberated districts get flipped over to their liberated side and get removed from play. And the rest of the districts sort of fill in the gap so that they are now adjacent to each other. Mm -hmm. And as a rebellion, I always end my turn by drawing up three cards from the deck. Now, if at any time the rebellion player is able to liberate at least three districts, then they immediately win the game. Mm -hmm. However, if we get to the very end of the deck before that happens, then at the very, very end, we're going to have have a final mission of sorts. Yes, this would be the final encounter. In that case, we would actually not use the area of interest token and I can place out cards in any of the remaining five districts. And if after that final encounter, the rebellion still hasn't liberated three districts, then I would win as the yep. empire. Yeah, so as the empire, you're basically trying to run out the clock, AKA my deck. Yes, you're trying to maintain hold of those CT districts. Mm -hmm. And that's essentially it. So we're just gonna go ahead and get cleaned up and we'll get started with our playthrough. Okay, so I am the Rebellion. We have shuffled up my deck. I have five cards in hand, mm -hmm. and Monique still has those four same tokens. Yes. We do need to discuss what my missions are. Okay. As with every game that you play, we have the Revolution, yep. which says the total value of all combined suits is 21 or more. Again, this is in any one district. Mm -hmm. Next, we have the Political Surge, which says three revealed cards of any one suit. So it's very important that the cards are revealed Face up. When, when claiming the district. Then we have the Energized Press, which says the total intel value, which is the blue suit, is more than the total upheaval value, the orange suit, and the upheaval value is three or greater, right. the sum. Mm -hmm. And finally, we have the sleeper cell, which is a run of four or more consecutive value cards. So two, three, four, five, or mm -hmm. three, four, five, six. Exactly. And to be clear, for this mission, the suit does not matter. Mm -hmm. And also, even if Naveen has liberated one district using one of these mission cards, these are always going to be available for him to use for liberating any of the districts. Right, like I can tap sleeper cell three times, yeah. four times if I wanted. If the numbers work out. All right, Rebellion, are you ready to begin? I am, I'm, I'm plotting in my head right now. Okay, take it away. All right, for my first turn, I'm gonna choose the area of interest to go in between the Capitol and police headquarters. Interesting. A good spot for me. <laughs> All right, now I gotta pick two cards, two of which will go face down, one which will go face up, so the Empire will know at least one of the three. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get away with it. Three <laughs> cards coming in, you know nothing. Coming in me. strong. Choose your actions wisely. Coming in hot, okay. Since it's early, and this is pretty much a blank slate, um, I don't have too many preferences, so maybe I just wanna try to find the high values because if all else fails, Naveen can always go for the revolution mission. I'm going to take the surveil action. So this is going to allow me to flip over one of these two face down mission cards. Ah, it is 50-50. I'm really hoping that this is not a misdirection. Mm. Ha ha, we have a really high valued Intel My card. Six Intel. So since I use this action, I'm gonna flip it face down. It's gonna be locked until the round after next. And I think I'll just destroy it, right? Yeah, <laughs> shoot. Get that out. It's nice because it's a high value and you can't use it for the energized press. So destroyed cards are going to go here. Because it was flipped up, it stays flipped up. And those are my two actions. So now Naveen, Go ahead and divvy between the Capitol well, and police headquarters. I definitely think I want to do this. I want these two to go into the Capitol. Really? Preserving that face down card right there. So you're saying that this is either a high valued blue 
or potentially another orange. I'm not saying anything. Okay. So then you would check for any liberated districts, and obviously we're not there yet, right, Naveen? Uh, no, we are not currently there. Okay. Yet. Because I guess you could have you could have completed Energize Press with that. Again, if if the, if this card right here, if I wanted to say that yeah. this is a five blue or a four blue, yeah, then this would hold true. Right. And now I draw back up to three, so I always have five cards in my hand. Perfect. And now we begin the next round. We begin anew. So it looks like your two actions are you can move and block. Okay. Yes, I can reroute or I can do a blockade for one of the two districts that you choose. Gotcha. And to be clear, when I took those last two actions, um, whenever the Empire takes their actions, you can only affect the cards that are in the area of interest. You can never affect cards that have already been placed. I'm just going to go right back to the same two areas of interest. What? Yeah. And the three cards I'm going to lay out look something like this. Ha. Huh. Okay. Simple. Real simple. Ooh. Two, a two disruption. What are you going to do? Is this a... Huh. He could be going for the sleeper cell in this area because it would be a run. Ugh. Okay. I'm going to blockade uh, the capital. Okay. So Naveen will not be able to play any of his cards here. Okay. I'm also going to reroute. I think I'm just going to... Oh, my gosh. Well, I guess it doesn't matter because no matter what, I won't be able to flip over either of these, t these two cards. So I might as well reroute the two. Okay. And just make it so that it's not next to upheaval. I'm going to tuck it in the Ministry of Plenty. You want it to be over here, huh? Yeah. So I must place these two cards face down yes. into the headquarters because the capital was blocked off by Monique. Correct. So let's... Make sure, for my memories, <laughs> what I'm doing. Okay. And the rebellion can always peek I can at always face look down at these cards, cards yep. no matter where they are. All right. I remember now. There we go. Very good. Okay. Naveen, have any of these districts been liberated? I will not say they have been, okay. nor will I deny that they have been. All right. Does that make sense? That makes sense. All and right. that is the end of the round. So I get so to flip over all, back. all my actions because uh, they are now two, all available to me. Three. And we begin again. All right. Area of interest. Why don't we just go ahead over to the spot. <laughs> okay. Right over there. Okay. I have a little interest in this location. Now that there's some disruption there's happening. some disruption happening Ministry there. of Plenty. So I will let you know for a fact that there are three supplies. Okay. And nothing else to be known. Ha. Huh. Interesting. Now, what am I afraid of <laughs> as the Empire? Because this is so open, I guess not much, right? I'm going to surveil. Uh... Which one? I guess I'll surveil the middle card. Mm. Let's see. Ah! <laughs> misdirection. Oh, that stinks. So Naveen was successful in that. This is one of four misdirection cards. So What a waste. What a waste. Now the question is, should the Empire react in fury <laughs> and just randomly destroy that card? You know, I'm just going to reroute. Uh, I'm going to reroute the three. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to place it here in the Ministry of Truth. Very good, Monique. All right. Very, very good. All right, so I'm going to place this one. Yeah, I definitely want to put this one here. <laughs> okay. All right, perfect. It's looking good. Anything liberated? Not yet, Monique. I'm not going to say. <laughs> I'll let you know. The clock is ticking, Rebellion. I can reveal at any time when the time is right. My goodness. So I'm going to get three. It's a very patient Two Rebellion. Three. Just simmering. Simmering. Okay, I'm going to go back to my area of interest, which is the old capital okay. and the police headquarters. The three cards you're going to be able to choose from are these. All right. What do so, you know? We have a three intel. We've already destroyed a six. My only options are blockade and destroy. So what am I afraid of? I don't know what these two are. So that's the thing that's scary. I'm going to blockade uh, the police headquarters okay. because we don't know anything about it. And then I think I'm going to just destroy. I'm going to randomly destroy this card. Okay. So if it's a misinformation or misdirection card, you have to flip it over. If. If. Okay. I don't have to flip it over. Okay. That'd so that's, be okay. that's actually good for me, even if I don't know what it is. But there you go. All right. So these two, they are going to come on down into this location here. Yes, they must. They must. They're required. And you know what, Monique? I think it's time to reveal... You liberated that I've liberated <laughs> the capital of all places. The capital? The capital. Okay. So I only have to show as many cards to satisfy one of these missions. Correct. I do not have to reveal all the cards. Yes. So let me just show you. So you didn't need all of them. These two cards right here. Oh. So we have a minimum of three for Energized Press and a four plus right there for the Intel. I got the bare minimum to get it done. 
Yeah, so it's go. actually a few parameters. This had to be minimum three for the orange suit yep. and minimum four for the blue suit. And the blue suit had to be greater than orange. Correct. So you did it. I did it. Which means you have successfully liberated the capital <laughs> of all places. So all of these cards maintain their direction. And we just take it off screen here. And then we're going to squeeze all of these together. Sure. So let's just let's move just it in. Them in. Yeah, to the center there. Why not? And I'm going to just move these. I'm going to move it in here just so we can kind of keep a running tally. Yeah, sure. Of the cards. Let's do this for now. Okay. And we'll kind of deal with it <laughs> as you hopefully uh, don't liberate more, I guess. Yeah, so that's a halfway point, right? Because that's the second time you flipped over these. Right. So I have four more rounds to get the other two done. Yep, and I'm flipping these over. Right, so let's get my three, two, three. Perfect. Whenever you have your full four actions, mm -hmm. it's like... I got to be really careful because if you just reveal one of my mm -hmm. big hitter cards, then there was a waste, just because like you did at the very beginning. The Rebellion never knows what combination the uh, the Empire is going to start with when they have their full four, right? Yeah. Okay, we have a good amount of cards in this area here. Let's just move the area of interest to these two locations. Okay. And the cards I'm going to lay out are these three cards. Okay. Beauties. Ah, so we have another supplies suit, which could potentially go here. Which you don't want a bunch of them revealed face up. I know. You're luring me. You're luring me. Because if Naveen places this here, he's going to be working on two things. He's going to be working on political surge as well as sleeper cell. Mm -hmm. So let's just blockade that. So no. Right so off the bat. Okay. I think you wanted me to do that. So I feel like I'm just walking into your trap right there. And since I'm no longer concerned about the revealed cards, I'm going to surveil. So that's this token. A little bit of info. Go ahead and flip it over. I'm going to place them up here now that they're a little bit... Uh, lower on the screen. Sure. And I think I'll reveal this card. Ooh. Oh, it's a five disruption. Too bad I couldn't destroy it. <laughs> <laughs> you could have. No, no, you you could have. I didn't. It was your I right. used my two actions here. Yeah. So these are all going to go here. They are. What was I thinking? That's a lot of cards remember. in one I don't district. Know, but I, I like what you were thinking there. Let me just remember. I don't even remember what I did. Why did I do that? Hey. <laughs> well. You did do it. So uh, these are all going to come on down. Yeah. Let's go ahead and bring this down. And wow, I cannot remember uh, what these are. So let me let me look at it one more time. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's probably not going to be the first or last time I'm going to be looking at that. There's a lot of cards in the stack. We have five total. Okay. But uh, maybe I can strategize around that. So you're not liberating Ooh. with all those cards? I'll hold off a little bit. Just a little bit. Really? Just a little bit. And there's always a revolution, remember. There, there if you is. ever if ever all of the combined uh, sum of each card, or of all the cards, sorry, is 21 or more, then you liberate. Right. All right, let's go ahead and draw back up. So all you can do is move and destroy, huh? Yeah, so you, all I can do. All Those you can do. Two of uh, the very powerful they ones here. They are pretty powerful sounding. Okay, there's a lot of cards in those two uh, districts, so I'm just going to leave the area of interest right where they were. So police headquarters and the Ministry of Truth. It'll okay. just stay there. And let's go ahead and... My just, blockade. Yes, we're going to drop <laughs> this off. It was for naught. It was for naught. Hopefully we can get something going here. Ooh. Sheesh. A four. Is that all you needed for the sleeper cell mission here? I don't know. <laughs> well... Let's just reroute that. Okay. So I'm going to reroute it to the Ministry of Peace, which has nothing in it right okay. now. And then I, I can destroy one of these two. It's 50-50. I'll destroy you. Okay. Is it misdirection? <clears throat> Let's find out what you've destroyed. It is not misdirection. So okay. it's, out of, it's a number card out of the game. All right. So these are all of the destroyed. This is the uh, liberated um, district. Okay. So All right, like very good. It. So my choices are these two. I yes. think I'm definitely going to want to slip it into this location here. Okay. And I think it might be time for a big reveal. <laughs> you Now you only have to reveal enough. I, like, uh, there are a lot of face down cards yeah, there. I, I, I'm aware. So I don't have to reveal this one to okay. you, but I will reveal... All of these big numbers, so we have a total of 21. Ah. We have 6 plus 4 is 10, plus another uh, 11. So we have 21. Okay. We have completed the revolution. Ah. It must be 21 or greater. So I hit it just perfect right there. Nice. Congratulations. Thank you. So we the have police headquarters. Police headquarters. Are now under my control. <laughs> Out of yours. They've been liberated. They have so, been. So this stays face down. Yeah. And this is everything that was involved in that one. Yes. I'm going to try to stagger this as sure. best as I, uh, as I can. Now, I, we're going to just move these in. Let's just move this over. Yeah, might as well. How about yeah, that? And we'll just keep it. It's going to be a little bit offset, but at least we can kind of keep track the of card the counting. score. The card counting is important. Yeah. So Naveen, you only have one last district to liberate. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be harder it is harder. Look it's at this. It's going to be harder. 
I can't tell. For I mean, who? we're almost at the end here. We're in the last two rounds. Two rounds. Because you're essentially going to draw up one more, and then when you draw up again, that's going to be the final... Uh, and the then, final... And then the last, very last round, yes. the eighth round, I do not have to worry about the area of interest token. Right. Here, so we'll see what I'm going to do with it. And I have all of my auctions available to me now. You do. So I'm going <laughs> to draw back up. One, two, three. So that last card. Okay. Very good. Uh, I don't like you having the full thing at your disposal again. So, uh, <laughs> man. It's harder now that it it's is harder. close to the end. Yes. All right. Let's just go ahead and move the area of interest here. Okay. And then I will let you know about... This little layout here. There we okay. go. Perfect. Huh, all right. So, you know, I haven't been really been doing too much car card counting. So, let's just review. We have the two, three, four, and six of supplies all face up. So, we know that the only possible supplies card out there could be a five, uh, which may have already been played. Chances are high. Naveen is showing the two intel. We have the three and four. And I'm not too worried about political surge unless these two are the same the same color suit, which means we should probably surveil. So I'm going to surveil this card. Ooh. Okay, upheaval. <laughs> so now I know for a fact that I'm not concerned about political surge with either of these districts. And I'm probably not concerned about energized press either because none of these combinations of cards would bring Naveen up to the required value of that, which means he's probably going for sleeper cell because the values are so low. I'm gonna reroute. Oh, okay. I'm gonna reroute this card. Okay. And I'm gonna place it here. This is my only really other option. Let me just confirm that I remember what that is. Which means okay, these are gonna good. go face up. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see everything in both of these districts. You are, well, I might as well just drop these in both into this district here. Oh, okay. Yeah, might as well. So that is the last, the penultimate round, mm -hmm. meaning I get my last card and we do not have to worry about this area of interest anymore. I will just lay out three cards and then Monique has those two actions. Yes, this is the final final, one. The final round uh, for Naveen to try to liberate just one more district. Mm -hmm. So it's come down to the very end here. Well, I have to lay out these three cards. What do I want to show you? I think I'm going to show you this one. There we go. <laughs> oh, the supplies. supplies. Okay. So I'm gonna block one and destroy supplies probably. Okay. Gosh, because I don't know what these two are, I think I'm just gonna have to block it. Okay. And I think I will just destroy supplies. That's it. Really? Yeah. That's too bad for me. Why? I, I don't think there was a way for me to win. Why? These are gonna slip in over here. And unfortunately, the rebellion was unsuccessful at getting that last district. Mwahaha, <laughs> as they should be. <sighs> The Empire you want to stays see what these mine. Are? Yeah. This is a six and a five. Now, the, the political surge is really hard to get done okay. because look at there's three red here mm -hmm. or three orange, uh, but they all have to be face up. I could never get a combination of cards face up. Yeah, I think with the political surge, you're going to have to play cards. And, you know, mind you, this is not as easy as it sounds, but you're going to have to play cards so that you can be flexible with the face up card, like maybe if a card was already revealed in a previous round and mm -hmm. placed in a district, then maybe you sort of offer the face up yeah. low card value of that same faction, I suppose. Yeah. But that's why there are four different missions yeah. so that you can always be working on several of them at the same time. Yeah, I was like, I, to focus really on this and to negate these three other yeah. things was was kind of going to be a tough uh, ask. So yeah. that's I why I was like, one of those going fall this. into it. Fall yes. Into it sort yes. Of if you could, and I never, I never did fall into it, so there was no way. But this is nineteen. I'm short by two. Oh, you are so close. I was close. Yeah. That was really close. Yeah. I mean, also the very, very first turn of the game, I did the fifty-fifty and found your six level intel. The fifty-fifty. <laughs> the other thing was a misdirection. So it was between misdirection and a six. And so you had six. I had I flipped over the misdirection, then the game could have gone very differently. Very differently. Yeah. So you know, there is uh, there's a lot of tactical gameplay in terms of what you're doing, as well as in terms of what I'm doing. Yep. But there is a, a, a small there's an injection of luck in there. Yeah. That I keeps mean, you on your toes. The six was crucial for the energized press, right? Yeah. I can only do this with. With so many combinations of cards. Right. So by you taking out that six, I was like, oh shoot, I should have probably, I should have probably played that card mm -hmm. when you only had two actions left. Right. I should have waited to the second round because it was in my hand. Mm -hmm. I could have held it back and then done it on the next one. So right when you flipped it over, I was like, oh, I messed up. <laughs> Big mistake. Really close game. Yeah. Now again, you're always going to play with a different combination of three missions. You'll always play with the revolution. Yeah, the game actually comes with a handful of these other missions. So yeah. we have uh, quite a few of them here. This one is very similar to the one that we saw here. 
uh, but there's one like this, at least one card of each suit. So something like this, something like this <laughs> would have been a success. Yes, and they could have they could be hidden, they right? It be does hidden, not yeah. say revealed. Exactly. Uh, coordinated plot over here. You want three of the same number. So like if you can stack up your two, 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 or something mm -hmm. like that. Uh, and try to lull your opponent into sleep because they think that the revolution's not happening there. Right. You can make a coordinated plot happen. So there's different combinations of cards like that. Right. And if you are playing against maybe a particularly strong Empire player and you feel like uh, it's kind of tough to go up against the Empire, there is the capital variant, which makes it more difficult to be the Empire. With this variant, you set up the districts the way that we had it, with the capital in the very center. And in order for you to win the capital, uh, the Rebellion player has to win using the Revolution mission, mm -hmm. which is basically a combined value of... It's typically 21 or more, but with this variant, it's 25 or more. But the thing is, if the Rebellion ever wins the capital, the game ends immediately and they win. So that's another way for the Rebellion to be able to win the game. Yeah, instead of having to take care of three districts, mm -hmm. they can really just punish the Empire by putting the big numbers in the capital. Yes. Instant win. Because thematically, if you lose the capital... Then, and then just ruins. So yeah, then exactly. <laughs> kind of uh, yeah. ruins everything. Well, there you have it. That is Unrest. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about anything you saw here, feel free to leave them in the comments down below and we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you all so much for watching the video. We hope it was helpful. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye.